Well, welcome to the start of my run through campaign mode in Seven Kingdoms 2, The Frightened Wars. Yeah, because there's actually a campaign mode in this game, and we're going to play as the Egyptians, because they have probably one of the best um, greater beings, since they can raise your population if you use it, so I figure it's probably the one I want to go with, and we'll go with small building size. And I think we'll go with a small world map, just so it's a bit easier to diverse, because the big maps are a pain in the butt. Seriously, I really don't care for the big maps. It just puts everything way too far apart. I mean, sure, it allows you to make even bigger empires, but... Unless you're you know, trying to go for a massive high score that can never be topped, I don't see the utility. And yeah, this audio bit always screws up a bit. Okay, we're playing as the Western Empire, so we're right here. And we're being invaded by somebody. The question is who? Oh, we're being invaded by the blue people? Okay. I may have to try and crush them next time we get a chance to attack. Several frightened rare bands have been spotted just across the border. You should expect lightning raids on your towns as the frightened's thirst for human lives knows no bounds. Your goal is to defeat all the frightened forces. Okay. First things first, we pause. I want to get an assessment, you know, of what we have and where. Yes, okay, so we have a small mine. I like that. I like it a lot. And we could move our starting forces easily. And I probably will, because putting them all in one location is probably for the best. Sure, we could open up more mines. But I don't think we need to in order to win. And that's more what I'm caring about right now. Honestly, I, I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, researching that technology might be helpful, or it might not be. So let's just blow this up. And move you guys into this town. After all, it's got a market, and I can make more money that way. We'll reinforce this place. And we will build another village somewhere else. The question is where. Um, there seems like a good spot. Darn, I did not mean to do that. Okay. And we'll have you build a fort in here. Yes, yes, we will. Um, massacre that. And we'll board you people up and send you all over this way. We'll work on moving the um, towns later. Let's just close the tip window. We'll blow that up, and we'll continue setting forces over this way. Yeah. One thing at a time, you know? If I try doing too much too fast, we're going to end up, you know, running into issues. Mostly because my buildings will start getting in each other's way. Okay. Okay, come on. Move faster, guys. Come on. Just a little bit more game. Okay. Let's see. Build a wall. Seriously, build that wall. I feel like Donald Trump when I say that. Probably not the best thing to emulate, but hey. Sometimes you gotta. Okay, let's um send you guys over here. And let's start reinforcing our location. And we'll um, blow you up as well, because there's no reason not to. Oh, 
Um, let's see. Yeah, we need to move you guys over this way. Losing a lot of bread at the moment, but that's fine. You know, because I don't care about the bread. Okay, let's seriously move these guys into one of these villages. And I need a recruit. I need you to build us a... Uh, not espionage college, seat of power. I want to buff my um, village production real fast. Okay. That's not what I want. Train more troops. After all, I mean, if I got more troops, I can do more stuff. And let's reinforce this location even more further. Having a secure base is important, after all. Okay, we only have a maximum population of, um, 100, so we're gonna wanna move some villagers over. Create a wagon, drop another fort, uh, another town, right here. And let's see what the, um, AI does here. I'm waiting for it to make a move, really. Okay. Come on. I'm just waiting for them to bust a move. I mean, come on. Okay. Okay. That's one way to bust our um, population up fast. We can just get, you know, a large population. We can work on training our military for a large, you know, offensive attack. And then just swarm over the Frightens. Heck, I could probably afford to build more forts at this point. Where are my enemies at? Seriously. I fear they would have tried making a move by now. I mean, come on, I thought this was supposed to be some lightning raids here. They've allowed me to condense all my forces into a corner. You think they'd be doing something about that? Ah. Uh, I guess they did try to do something about it, they just didn't succeed at it. Makes sense. Let's see. Combat 109, leadership 24. Um, I like the combat score. Nothing else about you is particularly impressive, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Combat 83. Leadership. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's have you build a fort. And let's see what they can do here. Um, we're gonna take from this town. Well, now, 25. That's not good enough. That's more I'm talking about. I want people with combat levels that are way higher than what they're offering normally. Okay, let's just fill the rest up with, um,. Some new recruits. Well, no. When's the next attack gonna come? Come on, Frightens, don't disappoint me. I'm waiting for you to bust a move. Okay.
I think this will do it. Um, let's see if there's any good generals in here. Not generals, um, troops we can pick up. Yeah, I want to take that guy. Come on, come on. And that one. And I'll take him as well. Okay. I think this lets me keep some of the units for um, taking it to the next mission. Because I like having the option to take a few of these guys with me. What the? A brawl? What is that? Okay, let's move, people. We must swarm across the land. Faster, people must march. Faster. And that's why I didn't have them attack immediately. Don't attack yet, you fool. You got here too early. Okay. Provide some blessings, will you? Okay. Come on, faster. I need everyone to, like, group up tightly so I can get you guys all selected at once. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'll let them do the attacking. Um, you... What, the king stayed behind? Ah, screw it. Okay, let's have you build a new, um, town somewhere. After all, I gotta be getting low on population some places. Um, let's see. You guys wanna move in closer? Like, seriously, all you guys hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Come on, run them over. Run them over. Get angry. Teach them who's boss. Because I'm the boss. Because I said wipe them out. Okay, what are you guys doing? Don't just ignore it. We almost got this map beat. Finish him off. Okay. Let's wear this place down. And kill whoever's inside. Because I said so. Well, now. Let's just rebuild our um, forces. <sighs> oh, it is, huh? Honestly, this was pretty easy, but, you know, it's a level one mission. What do you expect? I mean, they give us plenty of forces, and we got plenty of villagers, so it's pretty easy on level one to take out the first mission, at least. So let's click to continue. Okay, so we got a score of 16, so it took us four years to deal with the Frightens here, which is fair, I guess. I mean, what would happen if you didn't do it in at least 20 years, though? That's my question. Okay, so now what? Minister of War. Click through. Sorry, one of our vassal states was long ago infiltrated by agents of the Eastern Empire. These devious officers subverted the morals 
So that state and led its people astray. The people have now revolted against our just rule because they came near their lives to be better as an independent state. Realizing what it was too late, they would in fact become another slave province of the Eastern Usurpers. Thus the situation as it stands. It's your most humble and obedient servant. Stefaner. Minister of War. Okay. Sorry, I must ask you if I not deal with the treacherous Eastern Usurpers regarding our renegade province. Is it your will that I send a message demanding the return of our stolen province? Humbly await your most enlightened instructions in this matter. I may say your most humble and obedient servants. <laughs> eh, I'll do it immediately. Just screw it. Western weaklings, it has come to our attention that a small land of poor people and few resources quite understandably decided to join our universal empire. As we know that because of the vast horrors that we administer, we not generally know such trifling events. It's only the unpardonable tone of your recent letter on the side that brought the matter to attention of our lesser functionaries. You should attempt to reclaim this land for your own pitiful empire before that we shall be any force of yours with the appropriate response. Perhaps several dozen of our younger academy students would desire to earn extra credit by bringing home some Bagfuls of trophies for Imperial Ear and Nose Museum. See more than appropriate. I shall put to the third undersecretary immediately. I sure has nothing better to do. I would send this letter with him. Well, now. Well, now. Got that. Yeah, 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 we're going to war over it. Free at last. Bomb that have tied us to one of seven. Recognizing the little face of fury of our newfound friends. Oh, they're your newfound friends, alright. It's just now at last. Yeah, this lets us bring in a certain number of people that we clicked on. Yay! Gotcha. Well, now. I'll just click on all of them. After all, why not? Must retake our recently renegade province. Due to the necessity for a quick victory, you'll have only limited forces available, but used while these forces should suffice to vanquish any eastern troops that have entered the air to impose their rule. You should also be advised to make good use of any powerful artifacts you may find. They could help to speed your victory. Alright, you have a small, small troop of soldiers, but your real power rests in your position of several ancient and powerful neutralizers. This is you'll have a powerful tool to wreak havoc in the enemy's power structure. Sooner can turn an entire enemy town independent. Every person in that town will completely forget his loyalty to the enemy. Choose your targets well as to disrupt the enemy as much as possible for you attempt to destroy them. Hmm. Gotcha. Useless tip, though. Um. We should take this town, because there's no one guarding it. We'll then entrench ourselves and worry about taking this place next, probably. After all, they do have a factory. But we'll worry about that next time. Until then, see ya.